Hey, hey, hey everyone, I'm Rosie with K15T, and welcome to our Confluence tutorial series, where you'll learn exactly how Confluence works from start to finish. Our goal for this video is to leave you feeling confident in what Confluence is, why it brings so much value to your organization, how the overall structure works, and to get you off on the right foot when you're setting up your account. We recognize that there are two different deployment options when it comes to using Confluence. So just keep in mind that whenever we say Confluence, we are always talking about Confluence Cloud. And now that that's covered, let's dive in. Let's discover what Confluence actually is. Confluence is a web-based collaboration tool that enables your teams to organize, create, and discuss their work in a dynamic way. So you may be asking yourself, why should you use Confluence? Why do we use Confluence? Well, for one, it acts as a centralized knowledge base. It consolidates all of your work, including those digital materials and discussions, making everything accessible across multiple devices for your entire team. You'll always know where your information is because of this, and you'll always have access to it. Teamwork is also made easier since multiple users can edit pages at the same time, all while seeing the live changes that others are making. You can customize everything from looks to functionality, since Confluence supports hundreds of apps via the Atlassian Marketplace, and this will give you endless capabilities. Additionally, you have to keep in mind it's safe for your sensitive information, so don't worry about that. You can control exactly who sees what content with detailed permission settings. Whether you're a small startup or a huge enterprise, Confluence can easily grow with your company. And with modern features such as whiteboards, databases, and automations, you don't need to reply on third-party tools anymore. Everything stays within Confluence. So in order for you to be as successful as possible when using Confluence, we need to go and understand the structure behind it. So you can look at this diagram as a representative of your Confluence site. And within that site, you have spaces. Each of these spaces are going to be virtual containers that represent the content for different areas or topics. So the topics that we have, just for example, are marketing, documentation, and an app team space. And then in each of those spaces, the content that lives there could be um, pages, databases, blogs, smart links, or whiteboards. So as you can see, your Confluence site is basically this big umbrella, and then you have your spaces underneath that with the content that's organized into the spaces. And everything is organized exactly how you want it to be and how it works best for your team. So what are you waiting for? Are you ready to get started with Confluence? So we'll go ahead and start from the Atlassian website and we're just gonna sign up for Confluence. So we'll go ahead and say, get Confluence for free. Then type in your email. Obviously it's not gonna be the same one as mine, but you get the idea. Sign up. It's gonna then have you set up a verification code, type in your name, make a password, all that good stuff. So go ahead and do that. And then I will meet you on the other side. After you make your username and password, then you're gonna go ahead and create a site name. A site name is basically your URL. A lot of people will choose their company name, or if it's a really small company, you could just use your last name, whatever you like, whatever you identify your organization with. So I'm just gonna use Rosie Tutorial and go ahead and hit continue. So right after you create your site name, then you're in and Confluence is gonna ask you a couple questions to tailor your experience. So what would you like to accomplish? I'm just gonna go ahead and say, get alignment and share updates. Then you'll go ahead and click what kind of work your team is doing. So it's got this whole list. I'm gonna go ahead and just click operations. Then to choose your first template. So you don't have to do this either if you're not sure, oh, I don't wanna do an end of week status report yet. Totally fine. Um, but we're just gonna click one anyways, just because we can see the layout and they're pretty helpful. It's a good asset that, that Confluence comes with. You could also start with a blank page, but like I said, we'll just go ahead and start with a template and then to invite your teammates. So this is where the collaboration part comes in. We really recommend that you onboard your teammates as soon as possible. And we actually have a best practice article about this, about why you want to onboard your teammates as quickly as possible. So if you already know who you want to invite and who's on your team, go ahead and invite them. Otherwise you can totally do this later. So that's not a problem, don't feel pressured. Then you'll go ahead and click finish and it'll create your Confluence site and it'll then bring you to the interface. So now that we're here, congratulations, you just created your first Confluence site. What you see here is your dashboard overview where Confluence already starts to guide you around. We'll dive into the nitty gritty of the interface in the next episode. So stay tuned where we'll talk all about how to navigate through this and creating spaces. 
And so that basically concludes our first episode of the Confluence tutorial series. Hopefully now you feel confident in knowing what Confluence is and how it can provide a good solution for your team. Setting up the account is just the tip of the iceberg, and we have a lot more to discover. So in the meantime, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can keep helping you and you can keep focusing on what you do best. Thanks for watching.